Good morning, dear hearts. We're now on lesson 318. Please subscribe. Today's lesson is actually the beginning and the end of salvation. It tells us how salvation, the need for salvation, occurred, and it is now the end of salvation. And we see how it folds down so that it is no longer required of us in this world. In me, salvation's means and end are one. In me, God's holy son, God's child, are reconciled all parts of heaven's plan to save the world. Everything is settled now in me, reconciled, brought together, resolved, all of it in me. What could conflict when all the parts have but one purpose and one aim? Remember, there's only one problem and there's only one solution, and that solution is the solution to every perceived problem? How could there be a single part that stands alone or one of more or less importance than the rest? All things are equal. Everything is equal here now in salvation. I see the equanimity of it all. I see the equanimity, the equalness of my brothers. I see myself in, as an equal part of God's plan for salvation. I am the means by which God's Son is saved because salvation's purpose is to find the sinlessness that God has placed in me. I am recognizing, rediscovering what is already there. I am the Alpha and the Omega brought together in this lesson of salvation. It was in me because of that tiny mad idea I once had that the need for salvation occurred. And I am the omega in it because now I recognize that it is already accomplished. This in me, salvation's means and end are one. I was created as the thing I seek. I am the goal the world is searching for. I am God's son. I am as God created me, his one eternal love. I am salvation's means and end as well. It is all brought together now. Everything that we thought had occurred is summed up, reconciled, resolved in this plan, God's plan for salvation. The second part of the lesson is the prayer. Let me today, my Father, take the role you offer me in your request that I accept atonement for myself. I accept the atonement. I accept, accept salvation. I accept the truth of who I really am. I accept that I am created by you and I have stayed, I have remained as I was created. For thus does what is thereby reconciled in me become as surely reconciled in you. The namaste consciousness of healing. I see the light in you and I know that the light is in me. I salute it. I honor it. We are one. Here is that equanimity. Here is that equality of who we are. All of it is resolved. All of it is given to us in the idea of God's plan for salvation. We are whole. There is no single part that is alone or that is set out and not accepted. We are one. This is our miracle, the miracle of salvation. It is the shift in how we think. That is the miracle. And we are here now, complete and whole and relieved from the mad ideas, the insanity that we once accepted as truth. We know, as in the last judgment tells us, that now we know that what is true has always been true and what is false is false. And the truth has never changed, so the false will never become true. In me, the means of salvation is complete, the beginning and the end. 
We are one. We are here now. That's it for today. I hope it helped. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Please pray. Please pray. Please breathe. <laughs> please be here tomorrow. Namaste.